Hey guys. So today's video is another tutorial. And it's one that I've honestly been wanting to talk about for the longest time. I, myself, and I don't know if you guys also have noticed this too, I myself have noticed there has been an influx of these videos being made by these drama channels that literally don't make any sense at all. They say it's about drama, but there's literally nothing dramatic about what they're talking about. And these people are drama channels. They're here because they actually serve the tea. They bring the drama. They talk about things that Neve talked about. But it's gotten to the point where we are currently in a drama drought, guys. There is literally nothing going on right now in the beauty community. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. The biggest drama we had that just happened was this release of the Jeffree Star and Miami Way collaboration, which I have been requested to talk about, which I'm kind of conflicted about it because honestly, there really isn't much to talk about. Rich Lux made a video about the whole situation about people not getting their shit yet, but it's literally because it just fucking released. There are going to be longer waiting times with different releases. It's going to happen and even Jeffrey himself addressed the issue on Snapchat. But once again, these drama channels are desperate for anything. So they cling on to these little complaints about different companies. I didn't get my product now. I didn't get my product now. Honey, it just released. It's coming. It's not a big deal. <laughs> You're acting as if you're not getting this product the next day, the next fucking hour, the next fucking minute after you order it is going to kill you inside. It's not going to. I promise you it's going to come and when you get it, you're going to be happy as fuck and all those complaints you made on Twitter are going to be for nothing. And quite frankly, all you're doing is giving channels like Rich Lux and Junk Cookie a reason to create bullshit for drama. So, I don't know. I just had to address that in the beginning because it just, it annoyed the fuck out of me. Because these channels, there are some cases, yes, where I do think they're actually very good at bringing forth drama. Well, as far as Rich Lux goes, I can't say the same thing about fucking Junk Cookie and I'll tell you guys why in the video itself. But it just, it's getting to the point where it's getting ridiculous. Like, you guys need to calm the fuck down. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna save the rest of it for the actual video you're about to see. If you guys have any topics you'd like me to talk about, leave those all down below, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye. Alrighty, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So the very first thing I want to do is obviously moisturize my skin since today's look's gonna be very dewy and bronzy. I'm gonna go in with my H2O Plus Beauty Oasis Hydrating Treatment. I love this stuff. I'm almost out of it. I got this at Gem Beauty last September, and I've been using it ever since, and as you can see, I'm just now getting to the bottom of it because you only need a very small amount to really bring hydration to your skin. And then I'm also going to moisturize my lips with my EOS Lip Balm. For today's foundation, I'm gonna be using only my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation because like I said today's look is going to be very very dewy so I'm obviously going to use a dewy foundation. So I don't know if you guys noticed but there really isn't a lot of drama going around here on YouTube. The latest drama was the whole Jeffree Star Many MUA release and I was going to do a video about it but honestly I didn't need to do one because everything that had happened with that situation had been resolved very quickly. The release went on as planned, nothing has happened. Like to me drama is companies doing shitty things, the owners of companies doing shitty things, influencers doing shitty things with shitty companies, and things of that nature. There's so much more that I consider to be drama, but those are the main things that I usually see here on YouTube. However, because there is literally nothing going on, these drama channels, in my opinion, have been reaching for any kind of content. To the point where they're literally making up bullshit videos just to put content up. If you look up on Google the exact definition of drama, it reads as such. An exciting, emotional, or unexpected series of events or set of circumstances. Here's just a couple examples of the recent videos that these drama channels have been uploading. Starting with Rich Lux. Many MUA is addicted to gay sex drama! Please tell me how the fuck that is drama. Now let's go ahead and resort back to the definition of drama. An unexpected series of events or circumstances. Please tell me what is so unexpected about someone being addicted to good sex. So the fuck what if he's having sex? Why does that matter? Honestly, good for Manny. If the dick down is that good shit, I would most definitely be addicted to the shit too. And obviously something had changed because the video you have now up as far as the title was completely different. You literally had in the title, Manny MUA is addicted to gay sex. Now it says Manny spills the tea and it says sex tape on a fucking picture. Like, what is wrong with you? Come on. Are you that thirsty for drama that isn't there that you're gonna create drama for no reason? This would have been drama if Maybelline or Benefit had heard the podcast that he was talking about this shit on and they would have dropped his ass as far as being an ambassador for both brands. But 
let's just talk about that quickly too. Do you know how much shit both Maybelline and Benefit would get if they dropped many just because he's talking about having gay sex? Like, that should not be a deciding factor on whether or not someone should be an ambassador or not. But because it's Manny MUA, you want to talk shit about him and make this a whole big deal when it's really literally nothing. Manny, yes, was extraordinarily graphic on the podcast according to what had happened, but he was telling the story about what happened. You can't tone down a sex story, I mean, come on now. Maybelline and Benefit didn't give five fucks, you know why? Because Manny is being a fucking human. He's having sex, he's having fun, and good sex, obviously. Like I said, if the dick is that good that you're addicted to it now, holy shit! He did nothing illegal. He didn't do anything wrong. But you're making such a big deal out of it. For what? Is it to compensate for the fact that you're not having sex at all? I mean, I don't know you. I've never talked to you. I just, I watch some of your videos because yes, you are entertaining, but someone needs to clock your fucking house and tell you to calm the fuck down about this shit. If you want to be a drama channel, at least report something that's actually happening that's important in the community. The only thing that had happened that I think should be illegal is the fact that this man blessed Manny's entire existence with good sex one night and never spoke to him again as far as I know. Like to me that's heartbreaking. Fucking poor guy. Someone needs to track this guy down and bring him back into Manny's life so this kid can get some. And you want to know how else I know this is not drama? Because literally no other channels are talking about it. And then when the Manny thing was over and done with you went right to Nikki Tutorials and made a video about her wig falling off saying it was drama. If you watched the Snapchat or if you watched the video that he's talking about, the girl's wig was literally off on purpose. Like it was loose. It wasn't tied down or anything on purpose purpose she was trying to make a bad joke and she did. She was making a joke about snatching wigs, that's what was going on. But this turned into drama for some reason. I don't know what you're doing, I don't know what's going on in your life that you're so desperate for any kind of material, but I promise you if you do research like I do research every day, you will find something to talk about as far as drama. There are so many brands doing shitty things that people need to know about, which I will be talking to you guys about in a future video very soon, that needs to be talked about and exposed. So get on that train instead of riding these people's asses for stupid reasons. Calm your titties, girl. Mmm, speaking of titties. John, John, John Cookian. Your titties must be saggy as fuck and bruised and black and blue because of how much they're shook for no fucking reason at all. I'm gonna go ahead and start to highlight my face to bring some dewiness to my face. I'm gonna take the Spotlight Highlight Palette from BH Cosmetics. Which I did see some comments that you guys posted about wanting to see swatches of this particular palette and I will happily do that for you guys in the next few days. I think for today's look I want to be radiant so I'm gonna use the shade Glow right here. We gonna glow this face, girl. Gonna put that right here. Jesus Lord. I might offend some people, especially because in the past few videos I have mentioned that I did like John. And you know what? I really did like him. Except for the fact that now I've noticed a lot of things that people have been saying and I've seen it for myself in some of his videos. And I have to say, my viewpoint on John Cookian has changed 100%. Let's talk about that video you made about Nikita Dragon doing blackface, shall we? That video about Nikita was weak as fuck. Actually, I can't say it was weak because saying that it's weak means it had some substance to it, which it didn't. It was flat as fuck. It was as flat as Jeffree Star's chest. Your tea is expired, honey, and so is the milk you're always asking for. You are now known as somebody who I cannot trust when it comes to drama channels because you reach too much. You reach far beyond any lengths that Rich Lux reaches to for content. You reach to fucking astronomical heights for content. I'm gonna insert the picture that he was talking mad shit about saying that Nikita was playing black face in. I'm gonna insert her right now so you guys can see for yourself and you can decide whether or not it's blackface. To me, that is far away from blackface. That picture was obviously very, very photoshopped. A lot of pictures in magazines are. This is nothing that's new. This picture in particular was photoshopped to showcase the highlight itself because the campaign was for the highlight. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I'm going to educate you on something. She's also wearing makeup. Makeup adds color to people's faces. If you watch Manny Amelie's channel like you obviously do since you want to write his dick about everything, you would know more than anybody that sometimes foundations aren't always an exact match. <laughs> The shade, the shade of it all. <laughs> However, to say that she had purposefully used a darker shade of foundation and all this bullshit just to make it blackface, that is fucking stupid. It makes no fucking sense at all. She's half Mexican and I'm pretty sure half Filipino or something of that nature. She's naturally dark complected. Like I said, the lighting in that picture was obviously dimmed to showcase the highlight itself, which for the gods, it fucking did. Here is the definition of blackface. There's actually two. Blackface, the makeup used by non-black 
performers playing a black role. Here's one more. It's someone putting on black face paint to impersonate a black person in an ignorant, condescending, and stereotypical way. Nothing in the way that she was made up looked anything close to being blackface. You're talking shit about something you clearly know nothing about. about being professional, wouldn't you, John? Didn't you just make an hour-long video about the Gabby show after she refused to talk to you about what happened to her? I'll insert a picture of the email he sent to her. It was so nice and prim and proper and professional. Then all of a sudden, when he realized that she wasn't going to give him the time of day, he flipped the script and talked mad shit about Gabby in an hour-long video that has now been deleted. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you must have been living under a rock the past few weeks, because what had happened between Gabby and Rice Gum was like the biggest story to ever hit YouTube, seemingly. And because it was so big of drama, our dear friend John Cookie in here wanted to get in on it too. Gabby, being the professional YouTuber she is, knowing that she has an image to uphold, decides against responding back to John because, quite frankly, he is not someone who needs to have any information from anybody about anything. He misconstrues things, he lies about things, over-exaggerates, you know the deal. Instead of giving her response to John, she gave it to Philip DeFranco, who is the news channel here on YouTube. When I think of news channels, I think of Philip DeFranco first, because of obvious reasons. The same reasons Gabby chose to go with him instead of, obviously, some Someone like John. Philip is non-biased, he's adult, and he presents things in a very, very factual way instead of making drama out of them. John got hella pressed because she didn't want to talk to him and give him the story, so then John makes an hour-long video talking shit about her, making her out to be a liar and all this bullshit, which like I said has now been deleted. I can see it right now, John must have had a dozen fucking victim socks on his ass. This is what I imagine John looked like that night. Oh, woe is me. Why didn't you give me the video? I wanted all that information. I wanted to make a drama video. Oh my god, I'm such a victim of my own problems. Why doesn't she trust me? I'm an investigative journalist. Doesn't she know I'm legit? Oh, my victim socks are sliding off. I can't let that happen. I need to be the victim of this. Let me write an hour-long video about why she's a shitty person and why she's a liar and why this whole thing is her fault. Mad as fuck. To be honest, that was the video that changed my mind about John in one sitting. I tried to have my reservations about John and dust things off, but this video honestly proved how two-faced he is. Girl, bye. He legitimately proved everybody who's been exposing his ass to be right. In one video, he proved everyone right because he showed how two-faced he is. He's only nice to people who he knows he can benefit from. Now let's be honest, if he had gotten an official statement from Gabby and he was one of the only ones outside of Philip DeFranco, he would have been so popular. He would have gotten so many views, so many more subscribers. And John knows that. That's why he was trying so hard and trying to be so nice to her at first to get the information. Because he's nosy and he's greedy. He wants that information. He wants that attention. He didn't want it to try to bring the truth to you guys. He wanted it because he knew he would benefit from it. And that is why I think Gabby is the smartest person here on YouTube when it comes to drama because she didn't resort to giving John Cookie in any of her business. If you want to learn about things that are happening, at least in the general community as far as YouTube, Philip DeFranco would be the best way to go because like I said, he's adult, he's non-biased, and he brings things forward in an adult manner. And I honestly hope that no one ever trusts him ever again because like I said, he just proved why you shouldn't trust him. The fact that he flipped his opinion about her that quickly after she refused to talk to him only proves that he's such a shitty person. He's not someone to trust with different things. He's not someone I would ever trust about anything. So I think he pretty much dug his own grave with that situation. So yeah. All in all, all I'm trying to say is this. I know that drama is interesting because it's drama. We love this shit. It's a guilty pleasure, obviously. But as a community, can we just agree to tone the shit down about irrelevant ass stories that literally have no substance? Creating drama out of nothing makes no sense to me. And yes, I understand that sometimes it's literally just for comedic purposes, but I need you guys to understand that some people don't know how to take jokes and don't know how to take satire. 
People will literally run with it and fucking go and start drama talking shit on Twitter and bullshit. I've seen it happen. I know it happens. It happens every fucking single day. When you start to pull shit out of your ass as far as content and it's obvious, which at this point it is, your subscribers are going to know this and they're going to be like, damn, this person literally has nothing to report on. Like I said, if you were to do some investigation and actually look into what's been happening, you will find there are some things that need to be talked about. Which, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna talk about in a future video. But anyways, guys, that concludes this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, of course, and subscribe if you're not already. If you have any requests for any future videos or any tutorial topics, leave those all down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye!